I want to know a deep dive into this Tiger <laughs> dick shit because what's the fucking deal, dude? What do you mean? I've had the same thoughts as Chris Dephelia for some time now, so I decided to look into Tiger Piss and figure out how it all came to be and where it's heading. If you like these type of videos, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I try to put out two to three videos a week on the fascinating topics of the Bapaverse. In this video, you'll see how Bapa has no idea what's actually in his whiskey, the fact that Bapa bought an award just so that he could call his whiskey award-winning, and why the high-end, premium Tiger Piss is now discounted 30%. So stay tuned till the end if you want to learn more about that sweet, sweet nectar. Sure. I launch uh, my own whiskey line in January. It's a Japanese whiskey. It's going to be sick, man. Japanese nice, whiskey? Dude, congrats yeah. on that. What, what, what's it made out of? What do you mean? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's it's so. What they, is whiskey made out of? It's uh, rye. Rye, yeah. So it. That's cool. What are we doing here? Damn, that's is a that, two-year process. Is it is it working? Based on the nose, this needed more time. <laughs> I'm gonna say that it. Smells young. It probably could have used more time in those Mizanara barrels, especially, because I'm not getting a whole lot of Mizanara on this. What do you mean? It didn't turn out how I would have hoped, and I don't know, maybe they love it, but I don't think most people will think this is the epitome of what it could have been. Baba literally started his own whiskey company and doesn't even know what it's made out of. That clip is like watching a deer in the headlights, like he was baffled by the question. The guy asking the question wasn't even trying to trick him, it was a genuine softball question. And the guy even picks up on it and tries to help Brenda. But the idea that a person could spend two flipping years and a shitload of money making a whiskey and not even know what it's made out of is beyond me. What this does solidify is that he wanted a Japanese whiskey and that was it. Literally everything else. The idea of using Mizanara barrels, the bottling strength, the ratio of bourbon and Japanese, everything was probably based on his importer sending him samples of various combinations of what they had in their warehouse and him telling them his favorite. That was his total involvement in this project. That and he probably talked about the label a little bit with the designer. It just flat out couldn't have been more than that because he doesn't know anything about the product like in any facet. It wouldn't even be that bad if he had said from the start that he wasn't involved in the actual production. Like if he was upfront with the fact that he just commissioned the whiskey from a company and they took care of all the production and admitted that he was hands off. That would at least be honest. But we know that honesty isn't in Papa's blood. He has to go all in with the, yeah, I've been working on it for two years. It's a passion project of mine and I'm involved in every aspect of it. I'm super into the whole thing. That just makes him come off as an arrogant know-it-all trying to come off as an expert. I will admit that there is one aspect that I can tell he was 100% involved with and that's the redacted name because nothing says high-end whiskey like tiger thick with three c's of course i had a people over and i poured them tiger thick i didn't tell them every single one of them was like holy fuck this yeah, is just, great just maybe not the thick part i like it i like that name it's my brand you don't right? like tiger thick i like it okay you like the name you want, to call, you, you want tiger it? trace what do you want? No, no, it doesn't have to be what Trace. Do you want? What, do you want? Trace. Ja what do you want? Jack Thick? Just something. Jack something that doesn't Jack make me Thick? embarrassed to tell people what it is. Tiger Thick? How are you embarrassed? What are we talking about? Tiger Thick. <laughs> Can you, I say, I don't like the name. Yeah, you're like Rogan. Don't like the name. Rogan don't like the name? He was like, I love the whiskey, don't like the name. I was like, well. Well, I'll... Rogan is smart. Well, I... not when it comes to marketing. Well, if it was stand-up or, you know, or business-wise, I'll listen. But marketing, I'll, I'll take it from there. Baba will take it from here. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious that Joe specifically says the thick part when that's literally the entirety of Baba's empire. And Brenda acting like he has a PhD in marketing over here. What I don't understand is, did he pick that name because he thought it would sell well as a high-end whiskey? He literally could have named it Baba's Whiskey and I guarantee you that it would have tripled the sales into double digits. I don't even like Rogan, but come on Baba. When he says, I'll take it from here, like, okay, you smug buffoon. But that's what Baba does, and that's why he's so freaking unlikable. And did you see how defensive he got about it? Like, some would even say the most defensivist. But who knows? Maybe Baba's right. Maybe the key to genius marketing is creating a name for your product that everyone hates B. But if you thought the name was bad, wait till you see the next clip of Baba buying an award for his shitty label so he could shill the whiskey by calling it award winning. Chatter, how good is this sweet, sweet, thick nectar? 
Some say it's the best. Have we won awards? Sure. And we have Batch 2. The award-winning uh, awards are on the new bottles. It is lit. Already won awards for the label. The Muse Creative Awards. Not a big deal. So you came out with this thing, and it's good, apparently, right? Great. Award-winning. Right. Yeah. Okay. Award-winning. We're winning all sorts of awards. You see it online, you see it all over. So I looked into it. There are no eligibility criteria for the award and anyone can apply as long as you pay for the entrance fee. And it's in the award company's interest to have as many categories as possible to maximize entrance and winner fees. If you want a trophy, you have to pay extra, which Bobski obviously did. So he could put it on his shelf and act like he won an Oscar. And they literally have an option to keep your entry private where they won't promote your entry if it wins. If the award was worth anything, why would they offer an option like that. What's even funnier is that Bapa bought a silver award, which is the third and bottom tier under gold and platinum. He was obviously too cheap to pay for the higher tiers and paid the bare minimum so he could call his whiskey award winning. When he says award winning, he doesn't even say what it won, just that it is award winning. It's all a gimmick that nobody but his stupid ass would even consider. There can't be a single human out there that isn't a thickie that ever thought, I wonder if this label on my booze won any awards. I bet Slaw Bar gets it as award winning to trick people once again into thinking it was the liquor itself when it was only the label that won. Papa sure is crafty, but let's talk about the actual taste. I'm not into booze anymore so I couldn't even be bothered to do it myself. Thankfully, an honorary homeless cat, the Road Gut Review, took one for the team and tasted the piss. Roll the clip, Chin. So what is Tiger Thick? A blend of bourbon from Indiana and Japanese whiskey. You know, this smells kind of like a young whiskey, like a young, maybe a Speyside malt. It's kind of sharp, it's a little green, got a little bit of the yew branch, a little bit of the evergreen. There's certainly, there's a medicinal quality to it, kind of like iodine. There is a light, perfumey kind of spiciness. Based on the nose, this needed more time, <laughs> I'm gonna say that. It smells young, it probably could have used more time in those Mizanara barrels especially, because I'm not getting a whole lot of Mizanara on this. This is interesting. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't I don't particularly like it. I got to be 100% honest. The issue is the finish. It kind of comes off like wet cardboard. Now, if I were to pay for this myself, I probably wouldn't pay more than 20 bucks for it. Oh, really, dude? You don't like your whiskey tasting like wet cardboard? What are we doing here? Brenda really thought he could just bottle some whiskey Ico had laying around and sling it like he does all his other cheap wares. It's hilarious he thought he was gonna travel around the country with this stuff and force clubs at his monthly shows to buy a case. And that was his whole business plan. And let me be clear, I don't hate the idea of him doing this, but the insane hubris of an $80 price tag on this is just redacted B. Charge $40, maybe $45. That way, it's low enough that people will buy it as a gift or out of curiosity but not 80 ain't nobody paying 80 bucks for that piss which is why the whiskey hasn't been selling well so Baba has started discounting it even though he boasted about not having sales let's take a look yeah, so that's always. like with our whiskey, it's a higher price point. So like that Bourbon Outfitters, who's our only distributor online, uh -huh. he sent us the numbers last week because we're doing, because I was like, oh, Black Friday's coming up. What are we doing for the discount? And he's like, oh, well, we don't discount Tiger Thick. He's like, it's too high end of a whiskey. Yeah. He's like, have you ever seen like Pappies or any of these other high yeah, end? Yeah, you don't, you don't discount. He goes, you don't discount. I go, we got to do something. Otherwise, what's the narrative nope. on the Black Friday? He goes, Apple doesn't do, have discounts. Well, yeah, he was like, we can do $5 off shipping. No. He's like, and I'll, t I'll eat that cost. Oh. Really, dude? <laughs> I'm a numbers guy. Your boy fought tooth and nail to get it down to $59.99. Really? So now it's less money. Your stupid fucking whiskey is less money. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Baba literally said, what's the narrative on Black Friday? It's a medical marvel that this man has not killed himself through sheer stupidity yet. But I digress. What Baba doesn't understand is that overpricing tiger piss doesn't make it high end. But maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe it is a premium spirit reserved solely for the truly sophisticated connoisseurs such as the Marine Corps. I'd love to see the actual sales figures. Like how many unsold bottles is he currently sitting on? He probably has crates and crates of it in storage. But I guess that's 
that's not the worst thing for Baba. He is an alcoholic and will consume his own supply since no one else will. Here's my prediction for what the future holds. I think Tiger Piss is heading straight into the bargain bin. He's not a big enough draw and even though he recently claimed that he has an interested investor, I'm calling bullshit. I think he'll ride it till he financially can't anymore. And when the time comes to call it quits, he'll come up with an excuse on why it got discounted. Something like, it was taking too much time from my family. Oh my comedy career. Oh, my million podcasts. I just can't handle it, man. So here's one last funny as fuck thing I want to show you guys. One of the cats acquired the domain name tigerthickwhiskey.com before Baba could. Initially, he had the domain being redirected to handicaphomosexuals.com with a picture of Baba himself. He tried to sell it back to Baba and even offered to give it to him for free for a shout out for the homeless cats, but Baba refused. And let me tell you, if the whiskey venture had any potential, he would have paid that without a second thought because the money asked is literally a drop in the bucket when you're moving stock at a high pace. But of course, that's not what's happening over at Tiger Thick. If you're curious about what TigerThickWhiskey.com redirects to now, go check it out. Anyways, if you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on if you would buy Tiger Piss.